going on, everybody? Dogman Dan, here we are in Planet Coaster. And last time we left off, this area of the park that I was building, and I've kind of just been using this park to learn how to do things, uh, to test different things, get some ideas, functionalities, try to figure out how the crowds are working, such and such. But uh, last time we left off, I had this, this building here. Okay, I hadn't created the coaster that you see in the background and now I've got the coaster created obviously but I'm still working on like scenery and stuff and just trying out all different things like I said I'm using this park more or less for for that for being able to try out different ideas concepts trying to work with the pathways a little bit more uh, figuring out you know going through buildings and running around buildings and creating things but we are on update 2.3 now Oops, sorry uh, in terms of Planet Coaster. And they did make a couple changes, uh, which is pretty nice. Finally, the the coaster supports that you see will actually go through objects like it was designed to. Uh, originally, we had, when you're looking at the settings menu, where was it? Where was it? Interface, graphics, camera, audio. Where was it? Control center. I'm going to find it. I forgot where I put it. This is all your... Okay, never mind. Controls. Uh, here it is. I'm sorry. Allow supports to intersect your scenery. When they first released that, it wasn't actually working. It was deleting your, your, your supports when you place down a tree or something like that next to it. Now that's actually fixed uh, when you have trees and as you can see a little bit better down here. These supports were actually missing before. Now they are actually back again. Okay. They were missing. They're now back because they fixed that. So this once you click that you can actually have those supports in there. Uh, bear with me. A little bit of a lag through here. But like I said I've been trying out different things. Pathways. Adjusting heights. Trying to do just trying things uh, and seeing how things play out, how things work. When I created this area over here and I set this up, these queue lines are just unfreaking believable. I don't. This queue line for this coaster uh, is just crazy. And so what ended up happening is, as you can see right here, they would hit this end, and then all these people would walk away again. So I started adding in different uh, rides just to start kind of pulling the queue lines a bit and that's when I started noticing uh, depending upon what rides you're putting in and where you're putting them you tend to see more traffic to some than you do others uh, like for instance this one here for some reason it just gets really really busy just probably because it's next to this coaster I don't know yet these are things that you know not determined totally park management features obviously still grayed out that's not really to come out I don't think until uh, alpha 3 uh, they did release a new carousel here a little Venetian carousel if you will which is pretty cool uh, this can get filled up pretty quickly but yeah I was just trying out different stuff here and we'll take a look here at the coaster I, I actually did a pretty decent solid build on the coaster uh, one part that I don't like here is going into the bat wings. This is uh, predetermined or pre-set up, if you will. And so you can't smooth this out like you can the rest of the tracks. When it smooths, it smooths the whole thing at one time instead of sections on the turn. Uh, so when we're going into this, it actually gets a little bit rough. And then coming out of it for on the turn it actually gets a little rough and I would like to be able to smooth those two spots out but I just can't uh, so that's just functionally that's an issue for for it right now uh, in terms of that but they did add uh, and I'm not sure that I can do this but I'm gonna try to show you here uh, coasters We've actually now got two coasters, by the way. We've got a Black Falcon and a Cloud Runner winged coaster. Uh, and they actually do two different things. Let's see if I can throw one down here. Okay. On here, you'll see the magnetic brakes and the synchronous motor on this one. 
on the regular wing coaster, the the cloud runner here. Let me just go ahead and uh, pop that down. And I think it is over here on this new one that came out. Okay. You will see we've now got chain lifts on here, which is something we don't have on this one. So before it was just the motor. Now we do have them with chain lifts, which is pretty cool. But that's, that's particularly the winged coaster, which was something that everybody was asking about. Interestingly enough, also, uh, in terms of this update, just so people know. Let's see if I can just go ahead and edit this track a little bit here. So that's one of those changes they made along with the, the structured supports. Interestingly enough, you can actually, if you give yourself enough time, let's just go ahead and move that up here. They've now added this, so you can, as you can see it, it's starting to, uh, you can actually manipulate into manually creating your own loops now okay so that's going to take a little bit of time to work on but you can actually manipulate your own loops into coasters now so where this over here is actually a uh, set piece if you will on the loop section these are all presets okay we can actually now manually in this 2.3 update uh, go ahead and, and actually create our own loop. So this is something we're going to be working with as I'm creating coasters, I think. Just to see, and hopefully it allows me to smooth out things a little bit better because we have our smoothing tools. Okay, so hopefully this will allow me to do that. And really it's just a matter of up, down. That's all you got to do is drag your up, downs and you can create your loops as so uh, obviously that's not really going to be a great looking loop but you know give you an idea there you can come right out of the boom and there I've made a loop all I've got to do is smooth that out well obviously it wouldn't work coming right off the front end here but I mean you could you can make that work I guess you could make it work on this particular coaster right by simply changing that track to the motor I don't know. I haven't tried this yet. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Gone. I wonder if I could. Nope, it won't let me do that. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. Does it take it? Yeah, see, it does take it. So it would allow me to. Okay, well. <laughs> you can't come right out of the corner doing that. Anyway, I'm kind of rambling here. I don't really want this anymore. And I don't want this in my park that I'm designing here anymore. Uh, but I am trying to think about like future stuff in terms of park management. You know, maintenance costs on all these cool buildings and stuff. What's that going to be? What you know? What's downtime on all these things? Uh, is actually location of rides and stuff like that going to play a big role? Because you know what's funny. When I created this side here on the left, and I just created this and got this all set up, and it's, you know, like I said, I've got a lot left to do. And we'll take a quick ride here if you guys are still paying attention. We'll take a quick ride on that at the end. Um, when I created that area, it killed, it actually killed this area. Excuse me. <clears throat> it actually killed this area a little bit, except for the magic twirl over here, which is still pretty popular. These rides over here now, including the uh, the genie ride that I spent so much time building, uh, no longer seem to have much traffic coming to them at all. But then again, we come to the back here. We've got a couple people over here, but this coaster is just as full as it ever was. As you can see, the line all the way going down. So the coasters tend to get a lot of traffic on them, which I guess really is something big in theme parks but then some of these other rides if they're not placed properly will get nothing uh, this con this one's doing fine they get a lot of traffic coming in on that but i noticed that when i did that whole side over there these rides just kind of died out so i don't know if these rides need to be moved uh if maybe theming is type of a thing i don't know we'll figure it out down the road 
But, uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to update you guys. Sorry, a little bit laggy in here. Uh, show you what's going on, where we're at. Um, every time you add something in terms of a ride or a coaster, I've noted that my person count goes up by 200 people. So that's something else to keep in keep in mind. And in terms of money, money grows from having all the stores. Hopefully we'll definitely have more stores or buildings, uh, premium shops if you will soon. Instead of just the three premium shops that are there. Uh, but yeah, so I worked on this a little bit here. Uh, we've got the track going through this building, underground coming up. Just things I've been playing around with. I haven't finished off this building working with lighting. I'm just trying to test it all out, basically. But uh, what I'll do is, if you guys are still here and enjoying it, I'm going to go ahead and go through this coaster uh, with you, take you on a quick run on it. And uh, again, just bear in mind that be that one part in the bat wing, I can't really fix that. I wish I could smooth it out, but uh, I can't. Hopefully you enjoy it. Comments, questions, stay tuned for future episodes. Until then. We'll see you soon.